and welcome to a new video. This video is about uh, two things at the same. It's saving time, so it could fit in my saving series. Uh, but it's also about cooking, and since it's a longer video, um, I will put it in the category with cooking. Um, I have a bread baking machine, and I will show you. This is my bread baking machine, but this video is not about breaking uh, <laughs> baking bread <laughs> in a machine uh, because it would not be getting like anyway uh, if it's so simple like that. Um, it's it's kind of what I want to show is best of both worlds. Um, this machine, as most have, uh, 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 thrill in it, which makes your bread come out with a hole in it. The, the hole where the uh, swirl of uh, pedal have has been baked in. So it's a wonderful bread, but you have a hole of a pedal and that bread can't be used as sandwich or anything again. You could try to find a thing to do with the, 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 the stuff that is uh, at the end, but still it's better to prevent it. Then you have the way of baking bread. Uh, yes, baking bread <laughs> um, with um, hand, but it's a lot of uh, intensive uh, work. So I figured out why not combine the tooth. And I have done before, and it was always successful. But now I am trying to do a package of my flour for white bread. It's very easy. Uh, that is a uh, long past date. Let's see if I can find the date on it. Yes, it's about two years <laughs> over date. Uh, it does not focus. But it's from 24-3-2021. <clears throat> well, okay, overdate is normally a problem, but if you check everything careful, especially things like uh, flour, etc., can be still used. Uh, they're not uh, bad. Uh, it's only a little bit of a problem. Probably the yeast has lost some power. So it could be that we will be facing... Uh, <laughs> Not as fluffy bread as we expect. But anyway, let's get back to topic. What you do is um, you make the mixture in the bowl for your bread machine. But you use the instructions that are made for oven. So the handmade instructions. Because otherwise you will have the problem that there will be too much water in it. So the, f the dough will be very thin. So use the manual instruction, not the bread baking instruction for the machine. So the hands method you put in the, the, the item for the bread machine and you put it, let's see, the front, 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 okay. Might be that I have to speed it up a little bit if I am a little bit slow. And I only have one hand. Okay, so this will be okay. Then, and I hope your uh, bread baking machine has that option. I have several options on my bread baking machine. So maybe this advice, if you plan on... Um, buying a bread baking machine and you want to have this option I do now you have to check if it has the function of dough as you can see probably here 11 it says deeg that's dough that means this one will do the mixing and um, the I will put it in, in, in text if I am not correct. The raising the, the, uh, of, the, of the bread, we call it rijzen. So it has to swell. But I will look it up because these videos are spontaneous. And sometimes I simply don't know the words because I don't use them often. Words like uh, that. So I will put the machine through the dough option. And <clears throat> when it's finished, 
I will come back to you and show you uh, the next step, which is kind of uh, easy because the dough will be kind of ready. So this saves a lot of time by kind of <clears throat> you're kind of baking the bread yourself in the oven later, but the heavy and uh, intensive work will be done by machine. It has not risen much in the bread uh, machine because probably the yeast is um, less powerful, but the structure of the dough feels perfect. As you can see, probably for the people. Ah. I hope people can see this. This is the dough from the bread machine. It has not risen extremely much, but the structure is perfect. As you can see, if you have any knowledge, at least <laughs> I do not have much knowledge, but it feels great. I'm going to make a small um, <laughs> mountains so I can have smaller little brands for lunch and to dip sauce in from meals, etc. But because it's not risen very much, I will put them here in the plastic to give them some more time to get a little bit more fluffy. Well, they did not rise extremely, but let's see how they come out of the oven. I'm curious and I will film again when they are ready. It's a pity there is not a smell video available because the waft of freshly baked bread is coming out of the oven. They look great, they rose a little bit. And uh, I have had them 25 minutes on 175 uh, degrees on the eco uh, way of the oven. We have normal and eco, and eco is preferably if you have only one layer in your oven. And it's uh, more environmental friendly. So. I mostly have one layer because we are only two persons, so mostly I use the ECO opportunity. Uh, these are the end result. I'm sorry, I can't share them with you, but we will enjoy them. And talking about enjoying, if you enjoyed this video, please like, respond or subscribe.